So today I want to show you the Unify Flex XG and do a little unboxing and overview of how I use it on my home network. So this is a $300 four port 10 gig switch with a one gig PoE input port as well. You can also power it via USB-C. Here's a quick look at the specs. This is the little brother of the Enterprise XG24 switch, which is like $1,300. I wanted that one, but I decided to get two of these Flex XGs instead. Now let's get into the unboxing. So we have our usual easy to open Unify box. You can see a parts list on the back here. We'll cover all that in a second. So first up, we have some mounting screws. Come back to those in a second. Then let's go ahead and get the switch itself out. It's a pretty nice all white design, a little different than their all silver design for their rack mount devices, but this fits in with their other flex products nicely. Moving on, we have a template and a mounting bracket if you want to wall mount the switch. Here's what that would look like from the Unify site. Lastly, we have a get started packet that I never use. And then the right angle USB-C power brick and power cable. So on the switch, you have your one gig PoE in port, or you can power it using the USB-C port on the, on the rear. You have your four 10 gig ports, a power LED, and a reset button. The setup is pretty easy. Just open the Unify app on your phone, and it should detect the switch and start the setup process. Uh, you can see I actually have two of these set up in my basement on opposite sides of the house. I have one in my office and one in my server rack that handles my gaming room desk area. Uh, I am running a UDM Pro, and then I have a few switches in different rooms. So you can see my core switch is one of the older Unified 24 port 250 watt PoE switches. And then I have a few smaller switches running off of that and my basement access point. Uh, this one here, the switch light and the AC that runs up to my living room. Uh, it handles an Apple TV, Xbox, and my main access point. So here's some B-roll of my office network rack. This houses my modem, UDM Pro, main switch, Unify, NVR. Uh, also a Synology in there, Philips Hue, that kind of stuff. And here we have my larger server rack. It's definitely a work in progress. I'm always adding and changing things in here. But this is what it looks like at the moment. I do have two HP DL380s running Proxmox. Um, and I'll definitely do some more videos in the future on my home lab setup. But yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.